Ensuring the vehicle's cybersecurity across its life cycle is required both by the WP29 regulation and by the ISO uh, SAE standard. And doing that is actually a challenging task because it requires multiple players to collaborate across the vehicle's lifetime, which is very long. It could be between 10 and 15 years. So how do you do that? Well, from our experience, there are a few methods that can help achieve this goal. First is security by design. So when you develop the vehicle, you need to apply TARA and have a secure development process, but you also need to make sure that meaningful telemetry is emitted that will enable later detection in post-production of existing and new cyber attacks. And you also need to apply cybersecurity management on your supply chain. Additionally, you need to have a centralized detection system for post-production. Such a detection system can collect loads from vehicles, communication channels, and backend systems, and this way enables strong detection for a wide range of threats as listed in Annex 5 of the WP29 regulation. And lastly, you need to have an automotive-specific threat feed. Such a threat feed should be used both by the OEM, the service providers, and the supply chain, and it can supply a good source of threats related to the vehicle and to the mobility service that can help the OEM, connectivity service provider, and uh, supply chain create meaningful mitigations within a short period of time.